Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to extract unstructured data from an email and turn that data into structured JSON, which we can then use as dynamic content to allow us to accomplish any number of tasks. We are going to do this using Power Automate, Cloudflow, and Microsoft AI Hub. Let's get started. So here we are in Power Automate, and we're going to create an automated Cloudflow. And let's just call this AI Extract Unstructured Data. And our trigger is going to be when an email arrives. We're going to use when a new email arrives, version three, Office 365 Outlook. Let's create. And let's set the parameters of our trigger. So we'll click on our action and open the parameters and we'll just click show all. And I'm going to set my subject filter. And here's the email that we're going to use as a test. This is a registration confirmation email. We're going to extract some of this data that you see here. So this is going to be our subject and we want to put this into our subject filter. Now, the next action is going to be a convert text HTML, excuse me, to text. So if we type in HTML to text, we can see that's a content conversion action. So we'll select that and the HTML document to be converted. We'll use the dynamic content of our trigger. We're going to do the body to convert the body of our email. And then we'll add another action. And this action is going to be an AI builder connector. And the one that we want is create text with GPT using a prompt. Now here, selecting our prompt, we're going to select new custom prompt. And that's going to open this window here, right in Power Automate. You would otherwise have to go to the AI hub to create this if you're doing it outside of Power Automate. And once you create it here in Power Automate, it will be stored in your AI hub. Let's start by naming our prompt. So this is going to be extract email data. And then our prompt to tell the AI what to do. So we want to extract the following items from this email body and email body is going to be dynamic content. So we can add the email body in our Power Automate flow. And then here is where we want to tell it what to extract. So if we take a look at the email that we're working with, we're going to extract student name and class name, time zone. This will be a delivery type, Zoom. This will be instructor. And then we'll have a start date and a, and a start time. So let's go ahead and put those items in here. So we have student name, we have class name, we have time zone, we have delivery type, and then structure name. And then we have class start date, and we have class start time. Now, the key here is that we tell GPT to provide the results as JSON. Now, we need to test this prompt, of course. So here is where we'll put our email body. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this right from my email and paste it here as the sample value. And then we'll click test prompt and we'll see the resulting JSON. Right, we'll just verify that this worked. So it did extract. We have the class name, time zone, delivery type, instructor name, class start date, class start time. And then it extracted from here the name 
from the greeting, the class name from this row here. It extracted our time zone, our delivery type, our instructor name, our start date, and start time. So that all looks great to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Once it's saved, you'll go back to Power Automate automatically. And now you'll have a new field, input email body. So that's where we do the dynamic content of our HTML to text. Once we have that, we will add a new action. And the action that we want is a parse JSON action. That's a data operation connector action. And then in the field of content, we're going to put the text of our create text with GPT using a prompt action. And then we need to use a sample payload to generate the schema. So our sample payload was is going to be um, the resulting JSON from here. So in order to get that, we'll go back to this action, we'll click edit, test our prompt again with that same, using that same uh, email that we copied from, and then we're gonna copy this and we'll just click cancel and we'll go back to our parse JSON action, uh, action and we'll click the use sample payload and then we'll go ahead and paste that in here and then we'll click done. And there it created our schema. So now the last action is basically anything that you want to do. Um, in this case, like we're going to be, you know, collecting these values from that email. So you can, you know, put those values into a table or you can send an email. Um, so there's, a, you know, any number of actions you can possibly do. So in this case, for this set example, I'll just do send an email. So let's look for send email. I'm gonna do this send email v2. It's an Office 365 Outlook connector. And I'm just gonna have it sent to myself. So we're gonna do custom value. And I'm gonna put in my email here. And the subject, let's do dynamic value from our parse JSON. So let's click see more. We can see all of the values that we have access to. And so let's just do like subject is the class name and we'll put in some dynamic values. We can put in the student name. You are registered for, and we'll put in the class name on do some more, we'll do do date, start date. And that's it for now. Close it. All right, that looks good. So we can save this. And you'll note that when we save this, it's gonna present us with a little uh, flow checker kind of error, um, but more of just a recommendation. And you can see at the yellow bar up here where it says your flow is saved, but with a warning. And the warning is basically saying that you should, it's recommended that you should um, have an approval action after the create text with GPT using a prompt action, because it needs to be, you know, it's AI that's doing the work and it needs to be verified that, yeah, it's, it's accurate. So. For this one, we're not going to put in the approval. We're just going to test it and see how it goes. So to test this flow, so we can we can back out of here. It's it's saved. It just gives you that little warning. And we're going to send our email. And we're going to send it to our account. And then once it's sent, I'm going to put that in here and send it. And once it's sent, we'll just wait for that email to arrive. And then we'll refresh here and take a look at the results. Okay, so our test succeeded. And if we click on here on the run history, and we can see how the um, flow went. So I'll show you the email here. 
So you can see that it pulled in my name and the class name, class name and the subject and the date. So it did pull in the information that we wanted it to. And if we look at our successful flow run history here, we can take a look at the results here. So here's the output. So it pulled in all the information from that email that we sent. And then here, parse JSON, it, it turned it into usable um, information so that we can use that as dynamic content in the rest of our flow. And everything looks like it was done correctly. So that's great. I would like to hear more about how you guys use the AI builder in your flows. So comment down below. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.